Hello everyone, it is Weary here. Welcome back to my room. Instead of the usual cosplay workshop outside, uh, we are continuing our grand unboxing of all of the Sailor Moon Proplicas. Uh, today, we are doing the Rainbow Moon Chalice. We are ascending to Super Sailor Moon at the end of Season 3. So we've got Season 1 items, Season 2 items, Season 3 items so far. And we have one more. And that is the Holy Grail, the Rainbow Moon Chalice. Uh, just like our previous videos, we're going to quickly take a look at the outer packaging, which is nice and shiny, uh, matches up with the Spiral Moon Heart Rod, uh, which is like a holographic uh, text with glossy white packaging, the silhouette of the chalice in the front, and product photos around the back. And having removed the stickers, it would be easy to open it up and then play with the sounds because that is the most exciting thing for me. So let's, without further ado, let's just pull it out. <laughs> let's just pull it out. Okay, exterior box, we already had a look at that. So yeet that away to the side. We have a manual. Just like the rest of the Proplicas, they come with a manual, an operating manual to teach you how to become a magical girl. <laughs> Here is the interior packaging. Um, this is the tissue paper era before the brilliant color that had the plastic sleeves. So uh, still protected, but uh, I prefer the plastic sleeves. So opening that up. There is not much parts in here, I have to say. Uh, it is just the Holy Grail. It is Holy Grail and nothing else. So we're just gonna tip that out, yeet that away. Uh, and moment of truth comes very quickly with the Holy Grail because there's the only thing in the box. Absenely shiny. Here we go. Whoop. Ta-da! Here is the Rainbow Moon Chalice from Season 3. Look how shiny this thing is! I can check my reflection on here. I can, like, check if my cosplay is okay. <laughs> Just by looking at the side. It is so, so pretty. You guys can probably see my screen from here. It is that reflective. So this is from the not battery included era. So we're gonna take the most important magical girl tool, the screwdriver. Unlock the cat. There we go. Uh, battery compartment at the bottom. So it's very well hidden. There's, there's like nothing to indicate a seam. It's very seamless. I can very much appreciate that as a cosplayer. I love seamless things. It's just, as a child, uh, some of these um, toys in the 90s, they had like huge hinges and big seams that were kind of distracting. So this is so much better. All right, screwdriver, done. So that's, ready to be played with. And uh, this cap here, I can already see that this is going to be a slight problem for me. Um, the bottom cap is very seamless once again. Um, you press on a little moon sign here and it pops out. Yeah. And then you can access the battery compartment. Um, the problem with this is uh, it's very loose. So if you... Tap it hard enough, it comes off. So I'm probably gonna like just use a tiny bit of a blue tack and just like tack it in place um, so that it doesn't fall out. But seeing that this is like right at the bottom of the proplica, I actually don't care that it just stays like that. Like if I don't have the bottom panel, I don't see a problem because it displays like this anyway. So there is absolutely no, <laughs> no chance of like it actually mattering. But 
I still would rather that it didn't fall down. So a little bit of blue tack would solve that problem. A very minor problem here. So before we transcend into Super Sailor Moondom, we're going to check the manual and see how many functions this guy has. Manual. I love that these things come with just like an extensive operating manual. Um, oh, hello. Oh, hello. So it's not too intimidating this time. So just like the other publicers, they have a little bit of uh, text about about um, the item itself in the series. They have a little bit of text about the 90s version of this same item. Um, the 90s item was actually a little bit inaccurate because it had the uh, pink plastic base, whereas this guy has the red base, which is more accurate. So they, <laughs> they right out say that, they like diss their own product here. <laughs> um, we have one half where it's the product photos and functions which is cool, uh, it just shows you all the things that it can do. And instructions, we've already figured out the batteries. So we're just gonna quickly have a look at um, the sounds that it can play. Ooh, okay, that's cool. That's cool, so according to the manual, we have two mode switches, which is very well hidden uh, as two jewels on the back. So these two little jewels here are actually mode buttons. That's cool. That's that's actually really cool. I quite like that. Uh, so we're gonna switch the thing on at the bottom. Pretty. Uh, and then we have a green mode and then a blue mode. So green mode makes a green crystal light and blue mode makes a blue crystal light. Um, let's have a look at the manual and do it in order. I'm gonna go green mode first because manual boy and we press... where's the sound switch? Okay, we press the moon right here to um, activate the sound. So here is sound one. It's a short press on the moon while we are in green mode. Let's go. Oh yeah, Super Sailor Moon. Um, and I'm going to do that again because I was so hyped. The rainbow color is so pretty and I'm just like looking at it on the screen. <laughs> Can I do one more? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All of my feelings. All of my feelings. The um the Holy Grail scene is one of like my favorite uh scenes from the old anime. So I'm just like, oh my god. Um okay, so apparently if we long press this, we are going to get the old 90s janky sound from the 90s toy. <laughs> which I didn't own as a child, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the nostalgia hit that I'm supposed to get. <laughs> yeah, that's enough of that. That's janky as hell. <laughs> 
I'm kind of glad that I didn't get the um, 90s version of this now because like as pretty as it was and as much as it was one of the missing items from my childhood, um, that was, that was like offensively janky. <laughs> Such a janky sound. I don't think I'm going to play that on this propliga very much. <laughs> like, I mean, listen to this. Yeah, nah, <laughs> that's, that's like nails on a chalkboard to me. Um, so none of that, none of that, none of that for me. Uh, we are going to switch over to blue mode now. The um, mode switch is back here by pressing the jewels. Ah, I love pressing the jewels. There we go. So we're in blue mode and we are going to... Ah, this is the cosplay mode. So we're going to press it, and I'm going to do <laughs> the crisis makeup. Crisis make up! I'm Super Sailor Moon now. <laughs> All right. Um, and one more mode of this one is <gasps> feelsy sound. So this is um, the summoning sound from one of the finale episodes. Episode 120, 125. So I remember that episode very well. It's gonna, it's gonna tickle some feels. Oh yeah, it is what I thought it was. I did not come here to get hurt. I did not come here to get hurt. I, oh God, this is the scene from when she produces the Holy Grail and gives it up in order to save uh, Uranus and Neptune. Uh, <laughs> I did not come here to get hurt. Um, but apparently that is four sounds, four sounds in total for the Rainbow Moon Chalice. Um, I kind of, I really, I really do like the sounds that come with it. I did not appreciate the, <laughs> the janky old toy sound. Uh, it was a nostalgia bait. Um, and if I had owned the 90s version of the chalice, I would have been nostalgia baited, but I didn't. Um, so that did nothing for me. So uh, realistically, this thing only had three sounds. Um, but for how pretty it is, uh, I kind of wish it had played more sounds. But uh, it does tickle my feels in a very special way because it is one of the items that I didn't get to own as a child. And now that I am an income earning adult, I get to have it. <laughs> and now I get to, you know, find out that you know, I didn't really miss out on much in the 90s because the sound from the old toy was janky AF, as you just heard here. Um, and the sounds that it does play is very feels tickly, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, it is obscenely shiny. It is one of the shiniest items we have opened so far. Uh, so there's that. I completely forgot um, about something cool that we can do with this. And that is, in combination 
with the moon rod. So this is how we become Super Sailor Moon, right? And this thing has a Super Sailor Moon mode. So what we do is we go here, we transform into Super Sailor Moon. and straight away, perform the attack! Okay, so that is, um, if you play with this guy, in combination with this guy, you get to replicate, you know, every episode where she goes from Sailor Moon to Super Sailor Moon, and then, uh, usually she straight away goes into her super attack, right? So, <laughs> if you play with the two replicas in combination, you get to replicate that weekly upgrade and attack scene. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's a really cool uh, way to play with this that I just thought about uh, while putting this on the display. So Spiral Heart Moon Rod will go back onto the stand like so, ta-da! And Holy Grail can just go here, I guess, for now. Ta-da! And, and so we have the season three items lined up next to season two and season one. Yay! <laughs> Ta-da! The Holy Grail, the Rainbow Moon Chalice has been unboxed. With this, all of season three's items are done and we are pretty much halfway through the collection. There are so many items. So remember, we are going to keep doing this on Monday until the entire collection of Proplicas have been unboxed. I will see you on the next Mooney Monday unboxing. In the meanwhile, please leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you next time. This channel is kindly supported by my Crafty Squad on Patreon. With extra special thanks to everyone supporting on $15 or more, and those super awesome people are Make Them Awesome, Chad Omiya, Just Believe Cosplay and Props, Senery, Anna Messa, Natalie Buffard Frechette, Sylvia, and Selexia Talon. I will see you in another video soon, but in the meantime, stay crafty!